Oh, happy day when Jesus was. Oh, happy day. What's good, besties? It's your girl, Earth Angel, naturally all up on your screen with another video, another reaction video to be more specific for all of y'all. If you are new to my channel, I love to react to music. I love to react to things that interest me. And today is no different. So if you guys do not know, Cardi B, which is a hip-hop artist at the time, rap artist, female rap artist, um, released her first single or is Barney or Cardi her first single from the album? I'm not sure but she released her song last night and we about to listen to that to see what she is given because I'm a huge fan of Cardi B. Um, if you guys do not know who Cardi B is, she is from the Bronx, New York, and yeah, grew up in the Bronx, ended up on Love and Hip Hop, made the whole world so addicted to her personality, and then she ended up, you know, telling us that she wanted to be a rap star, and she put out music until our hit single, Bodak Yellow, basically put her on top, and she has just been releasing extremely good music from that time. So that's a little background check on your girl Cardi B, and... Last night, like I said, she released her new single. So we're about to listen to that. And also, Queen Nija, which is a YouTuber like myself. I'm, ugh, I'm not a you know, YouTuber like Queen Nija, but she is an amazing YouTuber. I love her so much. I love the fact that she is branching from, what would you say, like her YouTube career, like to just do vlogs and stuff, and moving into music. Now, if you do not know who Queen Nija is, she and her husband, Chris, and her son, Chris, baby Chris, used to have this really cute YouTube channel called Queen and Chris, or Chris and Queen, and them used to upload like videos and um, vlog them live, and they become really huge on YouTube, getting over 2 million subscribers, and then, you know, some personal stuff started to happen behind the scenes, I guess, and then it filtered out in front of the camera, and now they're separated, and Queen dropped a song last year called medicine that at this point has over 10 million views which is amazing and that single basically has carried her into a position where she really taking her music serious and been doing amazingly well so she finally dropped the music video for the song medicine so enough of the talking everybody is all caught up you know who cardi b is you know who queen Asia is you know why we're talking about them today so let's just get into the meat of the matter so i'm going to see if i can pull up cardi b's new song or better yet no i want to i really want to see queen's music hold on which one all right so we're pulling it up now i love the quality it already looks so beautiful i'm excited all right, so let's just get to this music video. Ooh, ooh, I love how it starts already. Ooh, this yellow is popping. Ooh, yes, <laughs> Show them how to do an eye budget. YouTube music video queen because these people out here don't know how to do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it when you do not have the biggest production company, Atlanta Records, or all these other big major brands behind you. All you have is some people that believe in you and some links and some access and some networking where you get for do and you put together a well produced music video. Now, this music video can do it for her if. The marketing and everything is set up properly but this is looking really good so far oh god <laughs> no yes i wish i didn't find chris twin brother Yo, no one of the man did him Instagram queen. Why queen? Why? Well, I already know so the song is about Chris. They didn't have to find the man twin brother. Hey, the man ear all uh, curl the same way like Chris own. The man beard at the same shape as Chris. The man have to tattoo as Chris. <laughs> all right, but <laughs> it's just a little bit too much for me, guys. Just too much. Like I already know the song is about him putting somebody who looks so much like him in the music video. Can I take away from me just enjoying the the art behind the music video and the concept, but more just feeling like, oh yeah, you know, this is about her life. It's like a constant reminder that the song is about her pain and her actual experience. So I can't really I can't really enjoy the song for itself. My hours of yachting, but she and Chris. So that is kind of a bit too much for me. 
not to throw any shade on the video or anything but you know we have to be real we we gotta talk truth sometimes it's, it's a little bit too much so i guess i know what i got into Ooh, give you a taste of your own medicine hey yeah appearance in a music video no queen queen and what kind of excitement are going on in a music video here queen to the niger to the queen niger to baby chris model what is going on in this music video say so, yeah, i'm chris twin brother in the music video we're gonna call him what should we call him okay so we can't we can't call him chris jr because baby chris already named chris jr almost chris, almost chris. thank you baby Almost Chris is all we have a call on YouTube in another video here. So she have almost Chris and then she have the actual Clarence in another video. Queen, you got balls and I love it. Watch it tonight. Watch it. food, so we. Queen, symbolism. Hold on. All right. I'm going to tell you something. I'm sorry for pausing the video so many times, but this is a reaction video. If you want to see the video in full, I will link it down below. You can go there and watch it, and it will be uninterrupted. But the moment you clicked on my video, means you wanted to see my reaction. So this is it. First of all, I am a literature major. If you did not know that, I actually went to college. I know I behave very crazy when I come on this camera, but I actually have a bachelor's degree. So I majored in literature and English and if anybody with the literature know that symbolism is like the backbone of everything that is literature and art and this girl literally bring Clarence in the music video and put on a thumb over him, a little do thing over him head that says medicine saying give another guy everything that belongs to you so all of what she had been giving to him all of what he had been giving to her she is not giving to Clarence but the gag is you think that Clarence is just playing a role in this video collecting and doing whatever but she actually mean Clarence like this is confirmation she has never confirmed that she and Clarence is together as always oh spicy mafia oh he's my friend oh he's this this is confirmation that Christ is getting all over Chris used to get Ew, no mm -mm. moving on let's go let's go back to the video oh my god guys what did I see what queen I do how long is this video going to be at the rate that I'm going okay listen after this I'm not going to pause the video again but listen to me this there is a scene in this video going on right now I'm sure you guys are gonna be able to see it down there but she literally has Chris tied up. No, sorry. She literally has almost Chris tied up in a chair with his mouth tape that says medicine. And then she have Clarence in the bed with the stuff on that earlier she said she's going to give everything that she used to give to Chris to the next person, which was Clarence. I know she's on top of Clarence in the bed, going out with a bag of something, grinding and whining and living her best life while Chris is there sitting, obviously looking uncomfortable having to watch that. Queen, 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 you make me sweat, you make my heart. Queen, oh, shit. <laughs> Queen, no, girl, you're not fair to do the things I grind me. What you? When I drop my clothes and I get naked. What? Oh, but for him. Oh, my done. I love that video here. I love it. It's too real to the background, to the back. Yeah, to the background story, but I love it. The drama just. Oh, too much. Oh, it. Jesus, so much. You're done. You're done. I am going to finish. No, I'm not gonna finish it now. Ah, we can't do this too now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna sit through the recital. We don't know. Queen, Queen, kids are gonna be watching this video, you know? Although that girl, everything is happening, Queen, because of the way you do. A Queen, so I need a record deal right now. <laughs> Get it? Oh. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, me and merch ad, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this is this is too much. Oh my God, she has the identical bed. Yes, we may tell you guys, it's just too much. I don't know, teddy bear. I'm done. I'm done with you, teddy bear. Yeah? section let me know what you guys think about queen's video for medicine is it lit or is it a flop oh my gosh i have been sweating for this whole video i am hot i am turned up i feel so bad right now like i feel like i can do anything i I'm feel like more cuss off somebody like i feel like i just want to beat up a man when i break my woman out right now but like I said guys, I love the video for what it is. Um, it's very true to the song. But for that reason, I don't know if I like it as much. Because uh, it's just like, okay, can this go beyond YouTube? Now let's talk real right now, besties. Now can this go beyond YouTube? Can this top the billboard? Can this be played on BET or whatever? Yeah, we, we, will people take this seriously? I was hoping that, you know, the song drop and from the lyrics, you know, that you're definitely talking about Chris, you're definitely talking about her divorce that's going on right now. They aren't, sep they aren't divorced yet. They're just separated. And we all know this because we basically watched her on YouTube for the past three years. But I was hoping that with the music video, she would have done did, dealt with it a little more general. Not necessarily about Chris himself, but just like infidelity in general and women being mistreated and, you know, women standing up for themselves and making their partner know that, you know, if you take a step back and look at it from my point of view and how would you feel if I should do all the shit that you're doing to me back to you? How would this make you feel? So I was hoping that she would have taken it to a more general basis so that everybody could relate. But watching the music video, I'm just being entertained by her life, which is just as what she do in the vlogs. So that's why I kind of like, uh, she, the, 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 I just think that she limit how far this video can go by making it so much about Chris. Anyways, that's my two cents on Queen's Video Medicine. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. You can also find the song in the description bar below. Now, people. To get to the meat of the matter of the day. Let's see what Cardi B is giving us. Now I'm so nervous for my girl Cardi B. Because y'all know. I want her to win so bad. But guess what? We have seen it so many times. Where people get famous and they get a hit record. And like look at the guy we're seeing. Um, I got bras. And, um, panda. 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 Designer. Yeah. Look at designer. Like where is he though? You know? <laughs> No shade, no shade to design or anything, but I'm just saying that it, it's very often that we see persons, they get a hit record and it's probably their first public record and they shoot them above the sky and then it's like, it's hard to keep up with that. Not that they're not putting out good music because I'm sure designer has released songs since Panda, but they're not getting noticed because they're not as big as Panda. So when your own records are your own competition as an artist, it can be really hard to maintain that. You know, no, we, we cannot be Beyonce's and Nicki Minaj's. So I'm really nervous for my girl Cardi B because she has been on such a big and successful, you know, path so far. And she has been she has had such a good track record so far with all her releases. However, those were features. And as well as Bardi or Cardi did, it did not receive such a huge commercial success as her features and Bodak Yellow. So I'm hoping that for this six this um single that she has released will definitely help to to help nail her in the position that she is and she let us become that girl that we knew when they end up forgot the place back in the other day so yeah so let's see what this song is giving us first of all the cover art is amazing like you did that you look so good Oh. 
Okay. I get the vibe. I get the vibe that she's trying to pull off with this song. Kinda like her. Uh, like, all she need know is Lauren Hill upon her track here. It kinda give me that kind of vibe, you know? Like. So this video is already hella long. I am going to have to listen to the rest of that on my own time. But um, as usual, I'm going to be linking it down below. You guys can go check it out. You know, always got you my besties. <laughs> always got you all. But um, I, 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 I get the vibe. It's completely a different Cardi than we are used to, which is good, which is good. Um, I love the fact that she continues to show her diversity, to continue to show that she can be very versatile on the track. Very versatile with different rhythms and different beats and different styles and still give a nice decent flow I'm not sure how I like the singing parts But I get the fact that it's kind of one of those tracks where you just want to like feel The music more than just to enjoy all the different amazing things that you're hearing on the track um, Like I said, you know, it kind of give me a vibe like Lauren Hill could have on a track like this and come in with some ooh ah. <laughs> but it's a really good track um i love it i like it i'm gonna be listening to it again but you know it's not something that you're gonna set up another club and be like mm, yeah mm -hmm, and i want whatever other things no you know you drive going up on the east coast or the west coast or whatever coast you want to go or you're going to ochi you're going to mobile you take a little vacation and you know you listen to it and you have bunks in it and it just feel really cool you know so it's one of those tracks so anyway, shout out to you, Cardi B, for keeping it coming, for keeping up on your promises. Her album comes out April 6th, guys. So if you buy music, get it, buy it. If you don't buy music, so support her, get it, buy it. Um, stream this track, it's already everywhere. Like I said, you can find it down below on YouTube. So what did you guys think about that song? Let me know what you think. Do you think the same thing that I do? Like it's not really one of those tracks where... You know, it's gonna like affect everybody like an epidemic the way Bodak Yellow did. It's it's more um it's more kinda laid back. You know, to me, do you guys think that or do you think that no girl you are tripping? This song is amazing. Um it is even better than Bodak Yellow, it's gonna be number one. <laughs> Just let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Let me know what you guys think about today's video. And if there's any other songs, like I can always tell you, if you want your girl to react to you, you can just let me know. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. On Instagram, it's earthangel underscore naturally. On Twitter, it's at Khadijalar. All my this information will be in the description bar below. As always, walk good. All you beautiful people out there in the world, bye besties.